okay guys so in this lesson we are going to do only two questions okay so the first question that we are going to do we are going to prepare a ledger account under a manufacturing so the second question we are going to prepare what we called a production cost statement okay as well as a trading statement okay so the question that we are going to start with of course is a ledger account which in this case i already write down my uh, answer book so that it can be easy for me when i'm uh, busy doing this lesson okay let's first check information for activity number one you have to make sure guys that you understand activity number one because the ledger account rules that we are going to use when we prepare for activity number one is similar case that we are going to use when we prepare our production cost a statement the only different is a format but the rules and the principle remain the same okay let's check uh, the information that we have um, activity number one the following information related to nandi manufacturing on 31 december 2022 okay then they give us inventory on hand okay the first one they give us a direct material number two working progress number three finished goods okay and they also give us um the date for opening balance which is one january 2022 and closing balance which is the two and december 2022 so you also have to take note of this guys that each and every year at the beginning we are going to regard it as a opening balance and at the end it's going to be closing balance okay so these are the free marks that you don't have to lose at all okay then additional information we have a raw material purchase cash then they give us amount we have carriage and purchase of raw material that are paid cash we have a direct labor indirect labor indirect material and so on and so on okay then required number one they said we have to prepare what we call a direct material Number two, a direct labor. Number three, effect overheads or manufacturing overheads or indirect cost. So you have to know all those names that uh, they are the same. Okay, then number five, we are going to prepare a work in progress. Then the last one, we are going to prepare what we call a finished goods. Okay, then uh, after that, I have provided my own answer book. So you have to make sure that you know this format, guys. You have to make sure that you know this format okay otherwise you will be in in very very trouble so please make sure that you master the format first uh, before you attempt the questions okay the, then the first one of course is a direct material let's prepare a direct material okay as you can see here guys we have a debit side and credit side so each and every account guys a debit side balance is opening a credit side balance is closing okay you have to make sure you know that and opening balance of course is positive closing balance you know that we subtract i'm, I'm gonna teach you this rule when we go to a production cost statement okay let's check if we have opening balance for direct material okay on one general war 2022 under inventory on hand we have direct material of 165 okay which means that we are going to regard that amount as our opening balance a 165,000. okay then after that we check if we have a closing balance the simplest one first okay we have it which is 156,000, which means that we're just gonna copy it on the credit side 156,000. Okay. Then again, now let's check. Under our format that you, 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 you are going through it before attempting. We have to check now on the debit side. We have to find if we purchase any raw material or direct material. Okay. Let's check under our additional information. Additional information number one. A raw material purchased the cash three or five or three hundred and five thousand okay 
Yes, we purchase material cash by amount of three or five, which means that under description you have to use a word bank. Why bank? Because we paid cash, which means that in this case we are not going to have a trade payable because we didn't purchase on credit. So you have to make sure that you know the different guys uh, between these two and you know where you, you record. Okay. Then transaction number two, they said a carriage on purchase of raw material paid cash. In other words, we, part, we, 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 we paid a transport, which means that that transport money is going to form part of what? Of amount that we purchase a raw material, okay, which is 22,000. Okay, the second bank, because it has been paid cash, we have to use the, the description bank, okay, then amount. We are going to record a 22,000. Simple as that, guys. A very simple as that. Okay. Now, let's check. We already get uh, all those amount. And, okay, we also have a balance at the end, which is a balance carry down. So, guys, but this balance is a free max as well because it's the balance that you have to take on the credit side and you carry you carry down on the other side remember guys um we have a balance bro down which is opening balance and after that when we done everything we have to carry down uh, that balance at the end so that's what we did here you just copy that amount and you paste it this on this, this side okay so now we have to make sure that our account is balance okay which means that we have to add everything on the debit side okay remember guys don't include a carry down when you add your balances because a carry down is after everything okay which means that we're going to take 165,000 plus 305,000 plus 22,000 then it's gonna give you 192,000. Okay, 192,000 is the total. Okay, it's 192,000. Okay, which means that even this side it must be 192,000. Remember, guys, what is on the debit side must be the same with what is on the credit side. Okay, then after that, now. We have to find a work in progress as a balancing filter. A simple step. Okay. One, uh, we're going to say, it, uh, okay, it's, it's not 192, guys, it's 4. Apologies. 492. 492. Then after that, we're going to say 492 minus 156 thousand okay which is going to give us three thirty six thousand simple as that simple as that guys so this is our account a free max guys this one is a free max okay then now let's proceed let's proceed the second account we have to prepare a direct labor okay on that direct labor guys we have a credit task for wages we have medical aid contribution and work in progress on the credit side very simple one guys credit task for wages you record whatever that direct labor has been paid if there's any medical contribution you also have to add after that we're gonna get a work in progress on the credit side let's check so we have a direct labor under information. Yes, we have it. A direct labor, which is 157,000. Okay. What about UIF? UIF that I see here is for indirect labor, which means that is it won't, it won't form part of what? Of direct labor. Okay. Which means that we are going to record the amount of 157,000 under creditors for wages. 157,000 okay medical aid is zero which means that 
we don't have any other transition therefore now we have to, what we have to do we have to write 157 in totals okay even on this side it's going to be 157 because whatever on the credit side must be the same on the debit side okay we have 157 thousand now we are done with this account a simple account okay then the third account now we have to prepare a factory overhead cost okay so guys uh, i know that you have to claim a format in order for for you in order for everything to be simple for you but when it comes to factory overheads guys we have a lot of examples so some of examples that you might cram you, you might find that they are not there which means that you have to use understanding you have to know that factory overheads is the same as manufacturing overhead and is the same as indirect cost all indirect cost but that are involved in what under factory you must record them you have to ignore everything that deal with office and that deal with selling and distribution they don't form part of factory, but the rest, they will form part of factory as long as they are indirect. Because direct material and direct labor, we do them separate, and indirect, we have to record them under fit. Okay, now let's check. Number one, we have indirect labor, 63,000. But indirect labor that we have of 63,000, guys, they also said that. There is a UIF contribution of 5,000, which means that you have to add them together. It's the similar notes with the one that we prepare for direct labor. So, it's the same. Creators for wages and medical contribution. So, you have to add them together and you transfer them to work in progress. Okay. Uh, guys, now, because our indirect labor is 63,000, and UIF is 5,000, which means that we're going to have 68,000. But we have to combine them because we have a UIF contribution of indirect labor of 5,000. Okay? So it's going to be 68,000. Okay? And then let's go to our factory. Okay, I'm going to rub here. Indirect labor. You add them into brackets, guys. You have to show that you add 63 and 5,000. Okay, and it's gave you 68 in total. Okay. Simple. Simple as that. Okay. Then now, let's check another transaction. Uh, another transaction, they said indirect material. Okay. So, if it's indirect material, guys, if we have, we paid any carriage or purchase you have to combine them okay in this case we don't have which means that indirect material is 94,500 okay indirect material 94,500 okay so this side I'm going to crash okay now let's check another transaction okay order it doesn't matter guys in this case you can start with indirect material you can start with indirect labor or you can start with depreciation it doesn't matter okay as long as it's form part of what indirect cost okay um now let's check maintenance okay maintenance it's a, it has been written effect which means that yes it does form part of what indirect cost Okay, it's 10,500. Maintenance. Okay, let me write here. Maintenance. Okay, the amount is how much? Let me check again. Maintenance, 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 maintenance. 20,500. Okay. 20,500. Simple as that. Okay, 
Now let's check another one. Sandra manufacturing overheads 10,450. Yes, yeah, we are going to include it. Sandra 10,450. Sandra 10,450. Okay. Just like that. Just like that, okay. Now let's proceed and check another transaction. Okay, another transaction we have electricity. Okay, electricity they said 50% is related to factory, which means that the other 50% is for office. So, office we don't include it, which means that we have to take only. 50% of 178,000, which means that we have to say 178,000, 178,000, okay, my brother, 50% then is going to give us 89,000, electricity is going to give us 89,000. Electricity eighty nine thousand just like that. Okay, then now let's take another transition. Okay, another transition that we have is from okay, let's check the precision on factory equipment ninety five thousand. Okay. Because it's for effective equipment, of course we have to include it. Okay. Ninety-five thousand. Okay, as it is. Okay, now let's move. The precision on office equipment. We don't include it, guys, because it's related to office. It has it has nothing to do with manufacturing. Okay. And again, we have a salaries for administrative staff. It's a no because it's admin. Selling expense is selling and distribution cost. We don't include it under factory. Okay, and the rent uh, is 58,700. But they said a 70% is the only one that is, play, that is related to what? To factory. Which means that you have to say amount of 58,700. My plan by seventy percent forty one thousand and ninety. A rent is forty one thousand and ninety. Okay, rent. Okay, apologize about that. Uh, let me go back forty one thousand. Forty one thousand and night. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay. Now we are done with the transaction, guys. We covered a direct material, direct labor, fixed overhead. Now we are going to what we call a work in progress. Okay. Now let's look at the format of work in progress. On the debit side, we have opening balance. On the credit side, a closing balance. That's the two balance that we have to start with before anything else, guys. Okay. Now, let's check. Our opening balance for work in progress is 102 and closing 182. Okay. Let's record them together. 102 opening. 102. And the closing is 182. Simple as start. Okay, now let's proceed.
the second one on the debit side we have a direct material there is direct material direct labor and factor overhead we have to take the totals that we calculated on the previous okay for factor we're gonna calculate let's start with direct material direct material under a work in progress on the credit side guys we calculated 336 which means that this account must swap they have to swap remember we prepare direct material account and work in progress account which means that these two accounts must swap okay because we record work in progress on the credit side under a direct material which means that on the work in progress we have to swap on the other side okay 336 336 it must come this side because on the other side we recorded on the credit side simple as that okay now let's check direct labor a direct labor we calculated work in progress of 157,000 on the credit side and we have to transfer it as it is 157 157 thousand okay now we have a factor of heads that i forgot to calculate okay which means that now we have to add everything let's add everything under this account <laughs> We have 68,000, we have 20,500, and we also have 89,000, and we have 95,000, and we have 41, 90, and we have 10 450 and we have 94 500 okay then our totals will give us amount of 418,000 and 540 okay so that's the balance that will go on the debit side as well 418 540 and it will go to work in progress 418 540 simple simple as that as you can see okay now we have to transfer that amount 418 540 under work in progress 418 540 then after that guys now we can get our totals on this account okay which means that we have to add 418 540 plus 157 thousand plus 336 thousand plus 102 thousand then it's gonna give us one million okay one million and thirteen thousand five hundred and forty okay one million thirteen five forty okay then after that now we can subtract a closing balance so that we can get a finished good minus 182,000 it's gonna give us Okay, then after that now we are going to finish goods okay under a finished goods guys uh, the first part of course we have to transfer a, fini a finished good amount under work in progress because i told you that this account they have to swipe okay 
then is 8 31 540 then after that now we have to go back and check our opening balance and closing balance which i believe that they are straightforward straightforward let's go to finish goods 135 and 198 opening is 135 and 198 is closing okay let's record them 135 Okay, apologies. One thirty five and one ninety eight. Thousand. All right, now we left you with cost of sales on the debit. And cost of sales on the credit. What do we do now? What do we do? Very simple. The cost of sales on the debit side, guys. It simple means that uh, there is a return of goods. On the credit side, it means that it's a cost of sales amount that we have to get as a balancing figure. So in this case, we don't have any return. Which means that our cost of sales on the debit is going to be zero. And then after that, we have to calculate a total. Okay. Our total is going to be 831,540. And we add it with 135,000. Then it's going to give us 966,540. Which is which must be the same as the balance on the credit side. Okay, then after that, now we have to get a balancing figure by saying five six is five forty minus one ninety eight thousand. Then it's gonna give us seven sixty eight seven sixty eight. By foot, okay. Simple as that. All right. So under this account, uh, of course, uh, for in order for you to prepare a cost of sales, you're just going to transfer five six eight five forty under a cost of sales because the account must swap. Okay. You are going to say seven sixty eight. 540 because we only have one amount both sides must be the same and 540 okay and then in this case uh, we're not going to calculate a trading account because we don't have enough information we don't even have a sales amount okay so the major part that I wanted uh, us to discuss first, guys, is for this part of finished goods, work in progress, factory overhead, direct labor, and direct material. Okay, now we are going to part two. We are not done with this lesson, but we are in a halfway. So please make sure that you watch this part as well in order to gain more understanding. Okay, let's first check required. Prepare a relevant note and production cost statement. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do most. A relevant note and production cost statement. If you understand this question, they never said open a ledger account, guys. They said a note. Okay, a note, this is how format will look like. We don't have debit side, we don't have credit side. You must do something like this okay very simple very simple don't panic so now let's check our information the first note that you are going to do is for raw material and the second one direct labor indirect labor factory overheads and the last one is production cost statement okay then now let's go and check this one the information 
They said the information related to ex uh, excellent industry LTD for the year ended 8 November 2021. Then balances on 1 December 2020. Okay. So these are the opening balance because they told us that our year is ending 30 November, which means that 1 December 2020, last year, it was a closing balance, which means that closing balance for last year is opening balance for this year. Simple. Okay. Then we have a direct material inventory, work in progress inventory, finished goods inventory, and indirect labor. So approaches indirect material balance. Okay, as you can see that guys, now in this case we have indirect material balances. Okay. So now let's check the information. The transaction for the year ending 30 November 2021. Cash purchase of direct material, credit purchase of raw material, railway charge. Of purchase of direct material okay and we also have a sales of finished goods with a wage which are 30 percent are indirect and the balance are for direct so in this case they didn't give us a balance for direct material and the direct labor they give us a separate okay and then we have electricity for factory and for office, insurance for factory and office, maintenance factory and office, sales commission, advertising, sales and indirect material purchase. Then we have a rent which you have to split into a ratio. Okay, and so on and so on. All right. Now, let's go back at the beginning. Okay. We have a raw materials that we have to prepare. The first thing, of course, we have to check what a balance. Opening balance is 11,500. Okay, these are the closing balance that we're going to check as well. Opening balance. You can just write balance and you show the date that is beginning. Or you just say it, opening balance, guys. That's all fine. Okay, let's say opening balance is how much? 11,500. 11,500. Guys, be very, very, very careful. Opening balance is positive always. Closing balance we subtract is negative. Take note of that, please. Okay? Then, now we have to check if we purchase a raw material. Yes, of course, we purchase a raw material, a direct material. We purchase cash. It's 95,000, which means that description here. We are going to write a bank of 95,000. Okay. Another one with a credit purchase of 120,000. A credit purchase Okay, it's so how much? Let me go back and check again. 120,000. Okay. It's 120. 120,000. Okay. Credit purchase, guys, you can write a payables or credit as control. That's all fine. Okay. It is same meaning. Okay, then we have a railway charge on purchase of direct material. It's like a transport. Okay, it's a transport in 7,500. Okay, we can say transport or carriage on purchase. Okay, it's 27,000. Okay, let me verify again. 27,500. Okay, 27,500. Okay. Now, because we don't have any other related transition of raw material, which means that what we can do is to 
close off okay a direct material is of closing balance guys is 78850 78078 remember i said it's negative 78850 you have to make sure that a closing balance you subtract guys you subtract okay so it's a closing balance After we subtract, we are going to get what we call a work in progress or issued. Okay, we can call it issue to production. Issue to production. Okay. So if you, you draw a T account guys or a ledger account, this is the same amount that you are going to get. But you have to make sure that you follow a required. If they said prepare a ledger account, prepare a ledger account no matter how you understand a note. Prepare what they said you need to prepare. Never, never uh, guys prepare something that they didn't ask it because you, you will waste your time. And you will lose a lot of marks okay now how do we get our working progress balance is 11,500 plus 95,000 plus 120,000 plus 27,500 minus 78,850 175 175 okay that's how you should prepare a note number one simple guys simple Okay, now let's proceed to note number two, which is direct labor. Okay, let's check if we have information related to direct labor. Yes, we have. They said a wages, a 30% is indirect and the rest is direct. Which means that out of that 500, uh, only 70% is direct. Because the other one is 30, in total it must be 100%. Okay. Multiply by 70, it's gonna give us 350. 350. Okay, creditors for wage, or we just say wage 350. It means that another 150, we have to record it under indirect. Another one fifty. This side. Okay. Then now let's proceed and check other information that is related to indirect and direct. Okay. The uh, factory insurance maintenance. No sales. No. Okay. I think the last one. They said a direct labor UIF contribution paid by employer is 32 350 and 32-350 for indirect. Okay. 32-350 and 32-350. Okay, let me write 32-350. Okay, 32-375. 32 Okay, 32, 375 32, 
okay then after that now guys uh we don't have any other transition which means that we can calculate totals okay let's start with total of direct okay a direct guys is gonna give us um so much it's three fifty it's gonna give us three eighty two three seven five okay and the other one is gonna give us one eighty two three seven five simple stuff simple as that guys which means that uh, for for now i believe that uh, you are listening and you are getting the principle okay then the next note we have to prepare a factory over head okay let's start with effect of a head and check everything that are indirect okay let's check number one we have a, a electricity okay sales of finished goods of product these are not a part of factory okay number one uh, we have a wage uh, the one that we calculated of course uh, indirect labor we have to transfer it to factor overhead okay indirect labor we got amount of 182 indirect labor amount of one 182 375 okay then the next one we're gonna have electricity for factory guys is 140 and 80 is for office which means that we have to take factory only which is 140 electricity it's one forty thousand simple okay the next one we have um insurance seventy thousand for factory other one is for office okay maintenance is one ten okay insurance and maintenance insurance seventy thousand and tenants and tenants is how much for factory it's one ten Okay. Now let's proceed. Let's check uh, the other one. Okay, let's me scroll up. Sales commission no. Uh, advertising no. Salaries because it's administrative is a no. Indirect material purchase yes. Okay, it's 72,000, but we also have to check if we have any transport costs that has been paid to this material. No, we don't have. Which means that indirect material, 72,500. But do we have opening balance? For indirect material, yes. Which means that we have to adjust them. Do we have closing? Yes. Okay. Which means that what we have to do, we start with opening of 340 okay we are going to do this guys in direct material uh, it's how much 
thirty-four thousand four hundred. Okay. Opening we add, closing we subtract. Simple. Okay, and purchased seventy two five hundred. Then we minus nineteen thousand. Seventy two five hundred. Seventy two five hundred. Then we subtract nineteen thousand. Okay, so there's a lot of marks uh, on this simple transaction, guys. So make sure that you also check opening and closing. Okay. Then indirect material is three four hundred plus seventy two five hundred minus nineteen thousand fifty six nine hundred. Okay, then now let's move to the next one. Okay, we have a rent of 180, but they said a rent to be split in ratio of 3 is to 2 between the factory and administrative office. Okay, which means that the factory one is how much? Is uh, 3 and administrative is 2. And in total, it's 5, which means that we have to say 180. Okay, let's see the calculation here. Rent is going to be 180 Then we multiply by 3 in total of 5 Okay, let's show this calculation It's gonna be 180 multiplied by 3 over 5. It's going to give us 108. Thousand. Simple stuff, simple as it is. Okay. Then, the next transaction, they said depreciation factory equipment is 90,000. Okay, and they say depreciation on delivery vehicle is 32,100. So for delivery, guys, it doesn't form part of factory. Okay, depreciation for factory equipment, 90,000, we're going to record it. Okay, depreciation for factory equipment. 90,000 okay then another one we have uh, what we call uh, let's take cost on sales cost of sales of finished product sales return we have a UIF contribution we record that one okay we don't have any other transaction Okay, which means that in this case now we have to get a total. Okay, a total now. How are we going to calculate it? We have to add everything. Okay, let me do this. Then let's calculate. We have 90,000 plus 108 plus 56,900. Plus one ten plus seventy thousand plus one forty thousand plus one eighty two three seventy five and seven okay then it's gonna give us amount of okay let me write it down seven five seven Two seven five. Okay, it gives us this total. 
Okay. Then now we are done with that part, which means that we can pro proceed to production cost statement. Okay. Now the question is how do we prepare production cost statement? Very simple, guys. Very simple. It's the same, it's similar process that we do when we do a ledger. Okay, the first thing, of course, we have to know the format, guys. Okay, the production cost statement start with direct material or we call it raw material. And we have direct labor. And when we add this to it's gonna give us a prime cost. Okay, then after that we're gonna add a factory overhead. Okay, then after that we're gonna get a total production cost. Then after that, we have to take um, work in progress at the beginning. Then we 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 less work in progress at the end. Okay, then it's gonna give us production cost. Okay, we have a two totals, guys. We have total production cost before we add and subtract closing balance of working progress. Okay, so now let's check how much our direct material that we calculated. A direct material. Raw material 175 150. We take the one 175 150. We take the one that uh, we transfer into work in progress, guys. Okay, then now let's go to direct labor is 382 375. Okay, it's Three eight two three seven five. It's simple if you know the format, guys. But if you don't know the format, it's a real death. So please make sure that you know the format. Okay. Then uh, again, we have a, a factor overhead which is seven seven five seven two seven five seven five seven two seven five. Okay. Seven five seven two seven five. Okay, this side I make a mistake. Uh, okay, let me rectify. Indirect material is one seven five one fifty. Okay, and direct labor is gonna give us three eight two. Three seven five. Okay, prime cost. We have to add this two. Okay, we are going to add amount of. Okay, let me calculate. We are going to say one seven five one fifty. One seven five. Three eight two three seven five. Okay. Five five seven five two five. Okay, it's a prime cost. Prime cost you add direct material and direct labor. In other words, prime cost is like a direct cost. Okay. Then after that we add a factor of value, which is indirect cost. Then after that total production, guys, you add a prime cost and what? And a factor of a head. 
okay in other words we are going to add 5575 plus 757275 okay then it's gonna give us a uh, 1 million okay then after that guys we are have we have to check a work in progress at the beginning okay a work in progress or we call it unfinished good okay it's the same in other words work in progress where we, it, it means that we are still doing what producing we are still producing that a uh, good we haven't yet done when it's done we call it a finished good okay our work in progress the, at the beginning is 18150 18150 we add 18150 okay then a closing let's check how much under a closing balances the closing guys is one one five thousand like i said work in progress is the same as unfinished goods one one five okay one one five thousand okay then after that for sure we are going to get what a production cost okay which means that is uh, 1,314 plus 18,150 minus 115,000 then it's gonna give you 1,217 and 950 okay so now we're done with our production cost statement so that's how simple it is guys to prepare a manufacturing process okay now uh, the question that we're gonna do on the next lesson is a trade statement okay under a trading statement guys it's like a short income statement where we are going to say it a sales okay then minus cost of sales is give us gross profit then after that we subtract all those administrative and selling and distribution costs remember we didn't include them when we prepare all this process it's because they form part of what a trading statement okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learn something guys please make sure that you subscribe and you like this video see you on the next upload